good morning. It's uh, Tuesday the 15th of November and I just want to pay tribute to this guy here. This is Dr. Eamon Phoenix. Uh, remarkable guy. Well known throughout Northern Ireland, Belfast, because he was always popping up on uh, TV uh, news articles and and uh, documentaries and all the rest of it associated with uh, our checkered history. Um, maybe not so widely known outside of uh, these islands, but uh, just a, a, a guy that you, you immediately warm to. He was just passionate about his subject. Um, the, all things to do with uh, the history of, of, of Ireland and Northern Ireland in particular. This man was, he was passionate. He, he was here, there and everywhere. It is said that um, he never turned a, an invitation down to speak about our uh, rich uh, history and past. And so I am really, really uh, disappointed this morning to hear of his death. Um, I'm just going to go through um, some of the news articles actually uh, uh, that are in our in newspapers this morning. So here's one from uh, the newsletter. A broadcaster and author of numerous books and occasional contributor to uh, newsletter pages he had been hailed has been hailed for his contribution to public understanding of the past. Um, a historian at Stranmillis University College in South Belfast, he was also a member of the Irish Government Advisory Committee on the Decades of Anniversaries. He died on Sunday. And it uh, goes on, his death comes seven months after a charity called the Community Relations Council honoured him with a good relations ward, saying that he had devoted a significant portion of his career to bringing and bringing to life historical events uh, to help shape, inform and educate at all levels. Well, he certainly did this. He brought, he brought the past to life. Uh, at the time, Dr. Phoenix had said, on the island of Ireland, it has been rightly said that we have a common history, but not a common memory. That's very good. <laughs> That's very good. Over many years in my public history, history work across the c community, I uh, have found that engagement with our often conflicted past can break down barriers and foster cross-community understanding. One of the many tributes, ex-UUP leader Stephen Aiken, OBE, said, Really sad to hear this news. Dr. Eamon Phoenix was an outstanding historian and I had the privilege to listen to his lectures and searching analysis. He will be sorely missed and taken away far too early. Isn't that the truth? Simon Carswell, a public affairs editor of the Irish News, said, Very sad to see the loss of a great man, a brilliant historian and a mine of information. He was a mine of information. Like a... Uh, the loss of a great library or encyclopedia. And there's just another photograph of Dr. Eamon Phoenix and uh, he was 69 and I'm 69 so that makes his death sort of a wee bit more poignant. Um, a service for Dr. Phoenix will take place in St. Bridget's Church in South Belfast at 1pm with the burial onward at Blara Cemetery, Lisburn, academic at Stranmillis College, long-time contributor to the Irish News newspaper and a familiar face on broadcasting stations. Died peacefully after a short illness and uh, survived by his wife Alice, daughter Mary, Alice and son-in-law Stuart and granddaughter Nicole. Irish Premier uh, Michael Martin described uh, Dr. Phoenix as a historian of rare talent whose invaluable insights did so much to eliminate the story of Ireland's politics past and present. 
the UP leader Sir Geoffrey Donaldson said that he was incredibly saddened by the news. Eamon takes to the grave an insight into history, into the history of these islands that few will ever rival. And that is so true. Our deepest uh, sympathies to his wife and daughter and wider family. And I'm, yeah, I'm saddened, disappointed to hear this news. I just, whenever Eamon Phoenix came on the TV talking about something, you always knew that it was worth listening to. And uh, I always stopped what other stuff I was doing and uh, he held my attention. A uh, brilliant communicator, just so full of facts and knowledge and 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 uh, as he, he just inspired you and uh, it was his passion for his subject that really, really gripped you. So uh, another name, another character, another person, another human being, another father and a husband to add to my list of gone but not forgotten. Dr. Eamon Phoenix.